Hi guys, let's go ahead and find the equivalent capacitance of the circuit below. As you can see, the circuit has 11 capacitors in total. There are 6 capacitors in the top branch, and then 5 capacitors in the bottom branch. Let's go ahead and assume that the potential difference between point A and point B is constant. But before we begin, let's go over some basic rules. For capacitors in parallel, to find the equivalent capacitance, we can just go ahead and e add each individual capacitor. And notice that the equivalent capacitance for parallel capacitors will always be greater than each individual component. For capacitors in parallel, they have the same voltage V running through each capacitor. Capacitors in series are a little different. They add inversely. And since they add inversely, that makes the equivalent capacitance less than each individual component that was added. For capacitors in series, they have the same charge Q running through each capacitor. Now in the top right hand corner right here, there's a very important equation, C equals Q over V. This means capacitance equals charge over voltage. I'm not going to use this equation in this particular video, but I certainly will use this equation for videos to come. So I've gone ahead and replaced the capacitors from that we saw earlier in the circuit with numerical values right here. There's four microfarads here. 3 microfarads here, 2 microfarads here, here, and here, and 1 microfarad here. Then in the bottom branch there's 2 microfarads here, 2 microfarads here, 3 microfarads here, 3 microfarads here, and 2 microfarads here. The rules for capacitors in parallel and capacitors in series are in the bottom left and right hand corners so you can follow along as I do this video. And we can really start anywhere with this one. We can start by adding these in series, adding these in series, adding these in parallel, adding these in series. But I'm going to start right here in the top branch in the middle where we're going to add this 2 microfarad capacitor with this 2 microfarad capacitor to find the equivalent capacitance of this branch right here, this parallel branch right here. So since these are in parallel, we can go ahead and follow this rule in the bottom left hand corner for parallel uh, capacitors and just add them 2 plus 2 equals 4 microfarads and we can go ahead and replace this branch with the equivalent capacitor that's 4 microfarads now notice that the top branch is all in series each capacitor in the top branch is in, in a series connection with the, each other so the 4 microfarad capacitor here the 3 microfarad capacitor here the 4 microfarad capacitor here 2 microfarad capacitor here and the 1 microfarad capacitor here can be added inversely to find the equivalent capacitance. So we do that here. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 equals 7 over 3. Go ahead and take the inverse and we get the equivalent capacitance for the top branch is 0.429 microfarads. We can go ahead and replace the whole top branch with the equivalent capacitor right here. Now the top branch is taken care of. Let's move on to the bottom branch. For the bottom branch, I'll start right here. Um, the two with the two microfarad capacitors that are in series connection. So since they're in series, they can go ahead and add inversely, following this rule right here in the right hand corner. And one over two plus one over two equals one inverse of 1 is just 1 so the equivalent capacitance is just 1 for these two right here so we can go ahead and replace that and there it is equivalent capacitance for that now we see that this micro 1 microfarad capacitor is in parallel with this 3 microfarad capacitor that means we can just go ahead and add these to find the equivalent capacitance of this uh, branch right here so 1 plus 3 equals 4 microfarads and we can go ahead and replace this uh, network right here with the equivalent capacitor that's 4 microfarads. Now this branch right here is also in parallel. This 3 microfarad capacitor is in parallel with this 2 microfarad capacitor. So we can go ahead and add these. 3 plus 2 equals 5 as you can see here. So the equivalent capacitor for this branch is 5 microfarads, and we can go ahead and replace that. So now we're left with three capacitors, one in the top, 
and two in the bottom. The two in the bottom are in series with each other, so they can go ahead and add inversely. So we can do that right here. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 equals 9 over 20. Go ahead and take the inverse of that, and the equivalent capacitance for the bottom branch is 2.22 microfarads. And that's been replaced right here. So now we have two capacitors left, and they're in parallel with, with each other, which means we can just go ahead and add. So 0.429 microfarads plus 2.22 microfarads, right here. And we get 2.65 microfarads. Now we can go ahead and replace these two capacitors with one single capacitor for this whole circuit. And there it is, the equivalent capacitance of this circuit is 2.65 microfarads. That is the equivalent capacitance of the circuit.